If I wanted to solve this system of equations by the elimination method, what I want to do is make sure that the coefficient on one of the variables of this equation is the opposite of the coefficient on the same variable in this equation. So what I notice here is that 18 is a multiple of 9, and that's good, which means I can multiply 9 by something to get 18. So I can multiply this equation by something so that this one has a coefficient of 18, but I want it to be negative because I want it to cancel out with this one. So what I'm going to do is multiply the top and the bottom, I'm sorry, the left and the right, by negative 2. Well, negative 2 times 0 is just going to end up being 0. So when I s substitute, sorry, when I distribute, uh, the negative 2, I'm going to get negative 20x minus 18y equals 0. And let's bring this one over. Didn't change anything with that, so I have 8x plus 18y is equal to 0. So when I add column by column, we'll see that this is equal to negative 12x and then is equal to 0, so plus 0. So negative 12x is equal to 0, so that means x is equal to 0. So now all I need to do is plug x into one of these equations. I'll just plug it into the first one. So 1, so 10x plus 9y is equal to 0. So 10 times 0 plus 9y is equal to 0. So 9y is equal to 0, which means y is equal to 0. So the ordered pair is 0, 0.